Okay, two capacitors C1 and C2 of capacitances C and 2C respectively are connected in series. A voltage of 6 volt is applied across them. The ratio of energy stored in C1 to that of C2 is... Okay, good. So here we have uh, two capacitors. Okay, uh, C and 2C. Yeah? This is the value, very important. Uh, we're going to use this value to substitute to find the ratio. Yeah? In, they connected in series. Uh, this is another important thing here. Series circuit. 6 volt. Uh, this is the total. I can say this is the total voltage across the two capacitor. Find the ratio of energy stored e C1 to C2. So I want to find the energy stored. Uh, U1 ratio to U2. Lah, uh, energy stored. Yeah? So we want to find this. What is the energy stored? Okay. Uh, so series circuit, uh, refer back to our series circuit. Um, for series circuit, the charge is the same. The total charge equal to Q1, equal to Q2, equal to Q3. Uh, for charge, all equal. Yeah? Equal charge. Uh, voltage is uh, V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus plus plus. Yeah, the total voltage is... Uh, v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus 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 that's series series co uh, connection and for total capacitance is uh, 1 over c uh, because we we knew that uh, capacitor in parallel yeah capacitor in parallel become a bigger capacitor become a bigger capacitor so the total capacitor is plus 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 but for series capacitor it become a smaller capacitor uh, become a smaller capacitor so it's 1 over c Okay, so remember this relationship, ah. Huh? Uh, okay, so uh, maybe I can write it down first. Uh, for series, series capacitor, the total charge is equal for all. Okay, equal for all. For total voltage is uh, plus plus plus. For total capacitance is one over C because it's series. Series capacitor become a smaller capacitor. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, how about energy store? Huh? We want to know about energy store. Uh, what's the formula for energy store? Formula for energy store for capacitor is half uh, QV. Half QV or half uh, CV square or equal to half uh, Q square over C. Okay, so we're going to use uh, either of uh, either one of these three. Yeah, see which one more suitable to be used. Yeah. So um, okay, so we have a uh, basically we have a uh, two capacitor in series. So I can say that it's like this lah. Um, I draw it out. Ah, uh, so. We have uh, this is the total voltage. Okay, this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, total voltage. So this is a uh, C one. This is C two. This is V one. This is V two. Okay. Ah. Uh, so okay, write uh, down some relationship based on this series. Uh, uh, series capacitor. Write down some relationship using this formula. Okay. So about the six volt, I can say that uh, about the six volt, I can say uh, that's the total voltage. Total voltage equal to V one plus V two, isn't it? Uh, because series, okay, series. So um, V one plus V two. So it's a uh, can say that uh, six volt equal to V one plus V two. Okay, I think we can't do much about this. Okay, we don't know V one, we don't know V two. Okay, and how about uh, total capacitance? Ah, we have the C and two C, isn't it? Uh, I can uh, this. Uh, okay, maybe write this down. This. Okay. Oh. Ah, this uh, C one is C. C two is two C, right? Uh, so write it down. Uh, C one is C. Uh, C two is two C. Okay. 
to C. Ah, okay, C1 is C, C2 is 2C. Okay, maybe we can find the total capacitance, isn't it? Using the total capacitance. Okay, just now that's the first thing we do. How about the, the second step is, is we can use the total capacitance formula. Okay, total capacitance formula. Uh, okay, so 1 over C total equal to uh, 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 because series one, yeah? This one is series combination. Uh, series combination so it's 1 over C okay so uh, uh, 1 over C1 C1 is C uh, C2 is 2C uh, okay and then uh, find the C total yeah find the C total uh, so this one become I can say this is uh, 2 over 2C yeah, times 2 lah eh? Uh, this one times 2 times 2 I got this okay so it becomes uh, 3 over 2c yeah? isn't it times 2 times 2 that's right 2 plus 1 3 uh, that's not the c yet that's not the c total yet it's just 1 c uh, 1 over c total so to find the c total you need to invert uh, you need to invert this thing Invert this thing so it become uh two two c over three uh two c over three you understand uh invert it I get two c over three okay so that's a c total that's a c total I also have the v total uh, v total is uh uh you know this one this v total is right down over here this v total is six volt Okay, V total is 6 volt. So what can we do about this? Uh, so we have V total, we have C total. I can find the Q total. Uh, so the third step is... Okay, for the third step, you can find the Q total. I can, uh, you know, Q total, I can use Q equal to CV formula. Q equal to CV. Uh, Q equal to CV. So Q total, C total, V total. Huh? Q total. Uh, Q total, then C total, V total. Ah, then, then we uh, I mean, uh, substitute, substitute all the, you know. Do we need all this? Do we really need all this? Uh, hold on a second. Uh. Do we really need all this? Might be. I mean, just, just find it first. Okay. Just find it first. Okay, so C total is uh, 2C over 3, right? Uh, C total is 2C over 3. And then V total is uh, 6 volt. Ah, 6 volt. So, uh, so uh, cancel, cancel 2. So, it become 4, uh, sorry. It become, um, you know, 2. So, this one becomes 4C. Uh, so, that is Q total. Q total is 4C. Okay. So, so okay. Now I want to find ratio of energy store, right? Okay, let's look back. Look to our ratio of energy stored. Okay, ratio of energy store. Uh, I can say that um, uh, uh, ratio of energy store U one ratio to U two is actually U one divided by U two, isn't it? Uh, U one divided by U two. Okay, so the formula for U1, U2, uh, formula for U is this one. Yeah? Half QV, half Q TV square, or half Q square over C. Okay, so which one is more appropriate? Yeah, Which one to be used? Okay, we can use the, the one with C. Okay, uh, this formula, this one, this formula no need because it doesn't have C. Okay, uh, it doesn't have C because why? Why we need the C? Because uh, we're going to uh, U1, U2. So we're going to use the, it already provides us the value of C, you see? We have C and 2C. So we have the value C and 2C. So that means um, we have the C1 and C2. So we have C1 and C2, we can substitute into the C here. Ah, you see that? Uh, we can substitute into the C here. So we're going to use the formula with C. Okay, uh, with C, uh, so half QV is out. Half QV is out, and um, okay, 
you use half cv square or half q square over c half q square over c so you see that we don't have v1 and v2 uh, we only have the v total we don't have v1 and v2 so uh we we cannot know we cannot substitute v1 we cannot substitute v2 uh, we cannot substitute v1 cannot substitute v2 so that means this half c square also out uh, cannot use it also out uh, cannot use so only left with this uh, this one we can use why because uh, this one just now we got the q total uh, q total this q total equal to 4c we got the q total and this one you see that q total for series okay q total equal to uh, q total equal to q1 equal to q2 equal to q3 uh, so this 4c is also equal to uh, q1 equal to q2 uh, is equal to the q1 equal to q2 the q total ah so so we we got the q1 to substitute q2 to substitute uh, we don't have the v1 we don't have the v2 to substitute but we have the q1 and q2 to substitute understand uh, we don't have v1 don't have v2 to substitute we have but but we have q1 and q2 to substitute we also have c1 and c2 to substitute ah so that's why we're going to use this formula uh, for our for our as our energy understand uh, half we use this formula half q squared over c uh, so because we have it already uh, that's why we need to find the find the c total once we got the c total we find the q total and q total equal to q1 equal to q2 so we have the q1 and q2 to substitute into here c1 c2 is already provided so we can use half q squared over c to find our energy store uh, once we got the energy store we can find the ratio ah that's the way that's the technique i'm clever isn't it <laughs> okay so uh u is half um uh, q square over c divided by a uh, half uh q square over c uh, all these uh you know uh q1 c1 this one is uh q2 c2 ah understand ah uh, so so i can find the ratio so half and half is uh, cancelled and then continue continue uh, my q okay so uh, i think i think we we just uh, you know q q1 square over c1 this one divide right this one the top divide by bottom so become when become multiply you invert right if you invert so it becomes um invert it becomes c2 over q2 square okay uh, because this one divide by this one so when become multiply it invert yeah q q square over c becomes c over q square understand you invert uh, now now you uh continue lah, yeah so what is your q1 your q1 is 4c your your q2 also 4c four capacitance yeah uh for uh, q1 is 4c And then uh, the Q2, Q2 also 4C. Uh, and then how about C1? C1 is provided, C1 is provided, C1 is, uh, you know, this one is, this one is C1, this one is C2, okay? C1 is C, C2 is C, is C2 is 2C. Uh, so C1 is C, okay? Put C1 as C, C2 as, C2 as uh, 2C, uh, C2 as 2C. Ah, so we can cancel already. So this one cancel, cancel, and then C with C cancel. So the answer is, the answer is you got uh, everything is just left with 2, value 2, uh, value 2. So I can say that uh, u1 to u2 is actually 2 to 1, ah, 2 to 1, 
So the answer is 2 to 1. The answer is 2 to 1. Yes, the answer is C. That's correct. Okay? The answer is C. 2, uh, two to 1. 2 to 1. 2 to 1. Okay? So that's all for this question. Okay? Hope you understand and see you again. Bye-bye.